to go back to Berkeley, Donald DeFries again lands in Berkeley, is kind of running around with all his buddies. And this is where the Symbionese Liberation Army takes place. Now, there's some claims that, like, the name even for the group came out of Vacaville. Yeah. Um, or that it was started to be stitched together and the plan was stitched together in Vacaville. Mm. It's really hard to parse through the stories and details about what exactly coalesces between the time that DeFreeze is transferred to Soledad and then winds up in Berkeley interacting with these people. But they kind of, SLA comes onto the scene later in 73 in November with the killing of a black school superintendent named Marcus Foster. And so the, the I, I, if I could back up just one second, absolutely. So sorry, yeah, yeah. But like in the intermediate period between DeFreeze hitting Berkeley and the murder of Marcus Foster, uh, DeFreeze is a kind of known entity in the local left. Like, People know that he's there and he's going to different groups, like different established radical groups and just saying the sketchiest shit to them imaginable. Yeah. Like he's constantly asking people if they know any hitmen or if they need any hitmen. And he's like, just, are you guys connected to like the hitman circuit? Yeah, like, exactly. You know, what's like, going on? You guys want to kill like, anybody? Yeah, like I, literally I, asking people. Do you this. pay people to get killed? What's going on there? Yeah. Right. That's a, I would say don't talk to me. Exactly. And that's what people say. Like he's widely considered like probably a police agent. Yeah. And it's actually like, you know, there's the story is like, oh, he's this charismatic guy who attracts these young, naive young white people, but he's yeah. not charismatic. No, no, at he's all. really Famously, weird. And he's like didn't really have a lot of friends. Like he's not known as being this like big, like he's not like some like great speaker or orator right. or like, oh wow, he just commanded a crowd. You always hear about Charlie Manson, like, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Just He's famous no charisma. Eyes. You know, everyone falls in love with Charlie. Ba -da -da. No, Literally nobody has ever said that about DeFreeze, <laughs> yeah. except for in the official retelling of what happened with us. Right. right. He's right. always described as being, like, really eerie, yeah. like, yes. really calculated. Super like, intense. weird, slimy, like, get away from me guy. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody and he's, want to hang out with him. He's only able to attract ten people, ultimately. Yeah. Like, the SLA that comes out of this, the Symbionese Liberation Army, which we should probably explain yeah. what the name is and all this shit. But, like, it's 10 people at its height with the freeze. That's all he can do in the fertile soil of Berkeley <laughs> in the mid 1970s on Parker Street. You know what I mean? Like, all he can get is 10 people, right. which is pretty remarkable. Well, that's all he needed. I, I will yeah. say, just like in, in to, to people who are maybe interested in contemporary issues too, like, this is something to watch out for, like, genuinely, even today, right? Like, if somebody who has maybe a past that, like, is sketchy or whatever, like comes to you and just uh, really any or no, I'd really anybody comes to you just like talking about plans for violence or asking about violence or like encouraging you to do violence. Um, that's that's a mark, whether they're a police agent or not. That's like subjective or objective agent. Don't fuck with that. Just say because, no. Because that yeah, is somebody who is no. either, I mean, listen, I'm an anti violence guy to begin with, but like. That that is that is somebody who is either going to get you set up on purpose or going to get you set up on accident. And either way, yeah. you're going to fucking jail, right? Yeah. Um, if you I, see something, say something. <laughs> if you see something, say Stranger something. Stranger danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just be like, nope, don't talk to me and tell everyone what you're in your political group with or whatever. Yeah. Don't talk to this person. Yeah, um, that's because very and watch advice. out for your homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spread the word. Because there was that case of that guy <laughs> uh, Michael Windecker who uh, who was and I think Colorado or whatever who claimed to have been in both the French Foreign Legion and the Peshmerga who like came around was like I got all these guns we should fucking kill these cops or whatever. It turns out to be an FBI snitch and this was just a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This this kind of shit happens all the time and people know it. Yeah, you know, which is why a lot of people <laughs> avoid the dude.